You know Noctua, a peaceful company, a company that creates fans that are just gliding inside of your case. And then there is Noctua Industrial, 3000 RPM, operationable at 24 volts, built to keep up with the needs of heavy duty trucks. Those things are... We already had a look at Noctia's NFF12 Industrial 3000 in the beginning of this year and if I needed to summarize the whole thing into a single word, it, it would be There is nothing to joke about those fans, they will hurt you. That thing is basically a weapon. Now the funny thing about fans is, or fan manufacturers is that usually when they create a bigger version, a 140mm version, those tend to be a bit slower. Why? I don't know why. Maybe because they want to reuse the same motor to save cost, but due to heavier wings, because you know they are bigger, it will inevitably become a bit slower. That would make sense for me, but not for Noctua. No, they are coming in with 100% performance. Meet the Noctua NFA14 Industrial PPC 3000 RPM. The fan she tells you really not to worry about. All in all, we got six versions of this sucker, a 2000 RPM quick 3-pin voltage controlled and then two spinning at the same speed using PVM, just that one of them is IP67 rated. From there, we'll come to the creme de la creme, the, the 3000 RPM PVM model, the one that will definitely break your finger if you were stupid enough to push it in. But as we are still talking about industrial, we got another two extra models, a 2000 and a 3000 quick PVM waterproof model that are usable at 24 volts because those bad boys need some cooling too. And if you are asking yourself what Q100 is, well apparently that's a failure mechanism based stress test. Yeah, it's, it's a very long word, but it actually just grades an electronic device for automotive usages using grades going from 3 to 0 and depending on the moment the device dies, it will get a grade. And although Noctua never specifically mentions anywhere which one of those four grades it got, the lowest one requires the fan to be operational between minus 40 and plus 85 degrees C, so I, I really don't mind which grade. But the one we are talking about today is still the one used for normal maniacs like you and me, the 3000 RPM PVM model meant for actual PC use cases, or, or just not, because they are just crazy, but on spec, while running at those 3000 RPM, this sucker, this behemoth, is pushing about 169 CFM. 169! Put this into context, a Fantex T30 is pushing 59, and a NFA12 Industrial 3000 about 109. While spinning at that speed, it is pushing that amount at 6.58 mm of H2O. So yeah, we are looking at a very fun ride here, and a freakishly loud one at that. 41 dB is not a joke. Um, though, funnily enough, the 120 mm counterpart is supposed to be a bit louder. My dB meter says no, but uh, spec sheet. The NFA14 industrial comes in the usual Noctia industrial box, all black with a touch of brown. And inside, nothing but the fan itself, accompanied by a fourth set of fan screws. The fan follows the exact same Noctia recipe like any other mainstream or industrial fan before. 40cm long steep PVM cable, SSO2 bearing, flow acceleration channels on the fan blades, acoustic optimizations on the frame, stepped inlet design, microstructures engraved into the inner side of the frame, a whole bunch of mini Noctua style optimizations to squeeze every bit of performance out of this sucker. But as it is still an industrial line, we got some extras. Instead of the usual Noctua brown design, we got one that comes in all black with brown anti-vibration pads on every edge, just to remind you that it is still Noctua. No matter the version, every one of them is at least IP52 certified, so 3mm rainfall per minute is allowed. And because 3000 RPM definitely needs it, the fan is entirely made out of fiberglass reinforced polyamide, which makes the thing a lot more robust and 140 degrees C proof, so yay, everybody rocking a 12900K, this is the fan for you. And lastly, compared to a Noxia NFF12 Industrial, they do not share the same fan wing design, as the F12 Industrial follows the NFF12 regular static pressure optimized design, the A14 Industrial looks identical to a regular NFA14. 
7, quite big, but also a bit more bent wings, kind of right in the center between an F design and an S design. You know, best of both worlds, a lot of static pressure and a lot of air. Which, by the way, is also the type of fan that is being used on top of a Noxia NHD15. This thing is basically an NFA14 on crack cocaine. But enough of the random specs, let's now see how it performs. Using the monster on top of our usual hybrid test bench, it blew away everything we've ever had before. Landing in at 33.2 degrees C more, it outperformed the smaller industrial NFF12 by almost 2 degrees C. But at this point, do take this number with a grain of salt. There is just so much air going through that system, I cannot really guarantee that the numbers are not squished in some direction at this point. But to make matters worse, you might have noticed that uh, some of the numbers are now calculated using decimal. The reason I can do that is because we upgraded the thermometer that, that records our room temperature while doing benchmarks. And I'm really happy that we did that before testing the NFA14 Industrial. Not because 0.2 degrees C changed the overall score, because let's be honest, who would see that difference? But because, and I kid you not, during benchmarks, those things were actively cooling the area. Yeah, while being built into a case, those things pushed so much air in and out of the case that you had like a redistributing current of air going all across the studio and it was actively cooling the corner in which I do benchmarks and in which the PC and the thermometer were sitting. There was absolutely nothing normal about that. I was seeing the temperature drop like 0.1 degrees C every few seconds. <laughs> it's in, it was incredible. Over on the noise to performance side, we are about to see why industrial should stay industrial. Compared to every other fan we own that spins at those crazy speeds, the industrial A14 annihilated each and every one of them. F12 Industrial, Silent Wing Pro 120, Pro 140, T30, each and every one of them was always a step behind. Maybe not a lot, but occasionally a lot more. However, once you realize that there is just not so much to cool and you throw in fans that are coming with roughly the amount of performance that actually can be utilized, you realize how much of a waste you just created. While it's true that an A14 Industrial dominated the upper speed, as soon as you lowered everything down to get to a normalized noise to performance level, the regular NFA12X25 and NFA14 took over, followed by the P14 ARGB. However, the A14 Industrial broke not only the lowest temp record, but also the lowest temp record at 25%. The most left point of each of our graphs is always 25%, each fan's individual max fan speed. And no fan has ever managed to keep the CPU at about 54 degrees C above ambient, whilst spinning only at 25%. On the flip side though, while doing that the fan was also audible. I could hear it. Not extremely loud anymore, but I could hear it. So where does this leave us? Well, this thing is a monster. It dominated our charts. It showed every other 3000 RPM fan who's the boss, and it made me re-realize that I am indeed mortal and I should stop playing with fast fans while they are spinning. That's dangerous. But this fan is not for the average person. Pushing at 6.5mm of H2O, there is just no real use case that requires this amount of static pressure, given that it comes at the cost of a lot of noise. Take the thickest thread you can come up with, you do not need an NFA14 Industrial. A regular NFA14 will do it. It will probably not bring the temps as much down as this meat grinder over here, but if you require this amount of fan, there is something else wrong in your system. Don't worry, the best 140mm fan, red fan video is coming, it is in the making, and this one will definitely be on there, just for, for fun reference. But I believe that in the end, like it was for the 120mm version, the, the fan was just too much and the noise to performance ratio just wasn't right for a normal use case. So for who is this thing? Well, name says it. Industrial applications, cooling down weird looking machinery, lifting up cars because magnets became too expensive, meat grinding, the industrial stuff, or for example servers. A lot of servers are like semi-passively cooled where you have like a big ass heatsink on top of the CPU and the fan is sitting like on the other side of the shelf and you need to get through like half a dozen 
hard drives and then to plastic and then through the heatsink. So you need the static pressure. And for those types of application, you A, you do not care about the noise and B, you just need it because of the static pressure. But still, even if no sane person should get this, it was hella fun playing with it. But okay, this should be it for Noctia and their NF A14 Industrial PPC 3000 RPM PVM fan. The fan that can devour another fan and fall out its RGB Unicon dust right into your PC. At this point, a huge thank you to Noctia for sending it over. And if you want to continue watching, have a look at our take on the NF F12 Industrial, because monsters can also come in small size. On a side note, we now also have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get life insurance. Because having fun right next to this fan made me realize that I want life insurance. I need it. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.